Hi there. In this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I develop uh, a GUI temperature conversion. So this is temperature conversion I developed earlier. So if I enter 32, so let's say we want to convert 32 to Celsius. You can see that 32 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, that will be zero. But if we say 32 degrees uh, Celsius that will give us uh, 89 degrees uh, 89 degrees Fahrenheit in Kelvin that will be 305 okay let's say you want to go for maybe let's just choose anything and the same thing follows okay so that is how you develop a graphical user interface using a GUI. So what I'm going to do right now is take you into the development environment and you see how I put together this very system. I think I prefer it with uh, the graphical user interface. So let's go into uh, Python uh, coding environment. And welcome back. So now let's go into the coding area so we're gonna have to import the system and from tk you know then we import all of the above okay the next thing I'm gonna do is just to declare let me declare my function so I'm gonna call it uh, value one Enter your parentheses and make sure your column is right there. So the next thing is declare a variable. So I'm going to say uh, Q. All right, but there's one more thing that I have to do, which I will end up doing later on. So the next thing is this very float should be it's actually an integer. Let me let me change it to a float. Sorry, instead of integer. So say divided by this multiply by multiply Q. I think that Q should be inside a parenthesis minus 32. That's to get the Celsius. This would be my calculation for Celsius. Let me just comment that so that I don't forget. All right. So that's for my Celsius. Then I'm going to need a label. So I call my label label one equals label okay and this is the name of my program right there as the name of the form all right equals let's say the value entered in Celsius is that okay so as soon as I finish this I will then take you guys into my Fahrenheit and get that out of the way as well so this is the pack so I made that uh, bottom okay this is where my output would be so let me just return that value I decided to do this because I'm just gonna get rid copy and paste this anyway okay I will just copy and paste this and modify as I go along so when did this next one will be for my Fahrenheit and this would be for Kelvin because I don't want to waste much time on this so I'm gonna get back to you guys as soon as I develop the system in details so talk to you guys soon okay fellow so far this is what I've done I have uh, I've modified my code right here you guys can see that that's everything right there so let's just change that right that's label one that's one okay that's my code right there so the next thing is uh, that's the name for my form that's my title right there this is the size of my 
window and that's the frame the whole component will be inside the frame I've actually declared my variables right there I intend to use radio button there so those are the variables that I'll be using for the radio button so let me just run this part of it the only thing you will see is an empty just an empty form let me show you what I, what you guys will see and there we go guys there we go that's just an empty form just an empty shell that's what you see so but uh, at least I still have my temperature converter right there so let me go back into the system I will speed this up a little bit all I just need to do right now is uh, be entering some uh, labels right here so let me get my label label that'll be the second label label 2 equals equals label and this very label I want it inside my inside a frame and that's frame one right there I want it inside the frame for my text equals enter temperature for conversion um, I'm going to enter my color of the black and enter I think I should raise it let me raise the label equals raised as it done so now I now need my label to dot pack and the size equals top alright so all I'll do is just copy this and change carry I want to do changes let's copy that come right down paste you might be wondering why am I copying that and pasting that well I just copy and paste that because I actually need that very label as a space okay that's my space right there uh, let me just say new line just do new lines right there that's it done okay so the next thing is I now need a text let me call that text display so I will now speed it up and get back to you guys as soon as I finish okay guys so I've actually speed up the system here's uh, all my code in place and you guys have a good look at that okay let's go back to the top right from the top that's where I've actually imported all the TK inner and uh, here are my functions I have three functions one for Celsius Fahrenheit Kelvin okay so let's, I don't want to rush it so have a good look at it so that you can do something very similar if not much better okay there we are guys and if I decide to run this program now this is what you see and that's it guys that's what you see enter maybe whatever value in there click on uh, Kelvin you see that's the value for Kelvin Celsius that's the uh, Fahrenheit that's the value for Fahrenheit that's the value for Celsius and now uh, you can also use the button okay to find the value and here I have my title there's no space here maybe I should just add a space let's go back in into the system maybe copy the label yeah why not let's use the label just entire space right there that's the label giving me a space right there. I'm just gonna run and save and here's the system guys this is how it looks now with uh, the space in there I can also the space right here okay so convert that to Celsius to Kelvin to Fahrenheit okay and that's it guys that's how you use a graphical user interface or GUI as it's called to develop a temperature conversion so I'm going to call it a day but before I go let me just show you guys uh, the codes one more time let's just go to the code now that's the code I will paste this code on my share drive 
so if you have any need for it you can always send me an email as the first part of the code up to the label now move it up so that you guys can see it and there you are so you all have a nice day now